I only have one thing to say, okay? Right now, right now, I have too much time. I have too much time on my hands. And when I saw, when I saw Blackpink's new music video, I just, I couldn't help myself. I needed the outfits. I needed the crocheted outfits that I saw in the video. And I, so it was 4 a.m. Maybe not 4 a.m. 3 a.m. I don't know. Oh God. It was early, okay? And I had the most massive burst of motivation I've ever had. And I wanted to make the crocheted outfits that I saw in the music video. So I started to look it up and where did I go? Yes, I went to Pinterest. But oh my god, it was just so there was so much there was so much information. I couldn't my brain couldn't take it. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna make these outfits. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it. And nothing was gonna stop me. And then on Pinterest I found the outfit. I found the outfit that Rosie wore and I was like, oh, that was easy. So I followed the links and I found the shop and I thought, oh, I could just buy it. But that would have been boring, like, mm. that would have been so, mm -mm, no, I was like, nah, um, I'm gonna make it, so, uh, yeah. I just like to make my life hard for myself for some reason. So I decided to make an outfit that is Rosé and Elisa's combined. Maybe? Kind of? I think. I'm just gonna say it is. So that's what it is. I started on Sunday and I finished today, so... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days. It took me five days to make this outfit. But anyways, here's how I made the outfit. Guess what? This, surprisingly, wasn't a disaster yet. I haven't taken pictures of it yet, but we'll see. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the stitch that I've been using for making this outfit. So I've chained 15, and you have to chain in threes, um, then plus two for turning. And then we start doing double crochet stitch all the way back down the chain. Once you've gone back and done your um, double crochet stitch in back in there, you have to do chain three. Turn your work around and then work into the first stitch here.
and then you miss two, one, two, and work into the third stitch. And do three treble stitches into that. And keep going until the end of the row. Once you've gotten to the end, then you can chain three again. Turn your work. And then start working into the gaps in between the treble clusters that you've made. There you go, and this is the stitch that I've been using to make this outfit. I um, probably haven't explained properly, but I will link the video that I used to learn how to do this stitch that I thought was good for making this outfit. So to begin with, I crocheted this long strip for the top. Um, I measured a similar top, which is this one, and I just measured around. I measured around this the hem, just to get the measurement of how big it should be. And then I chained 123 stitches to begin with, but that's just for my size. So hopefully this is the easiest part. I did it a bit long, but I can just overlap some of it and sew it down here to adjust to the size. And then I'll be making some flowers to go on top. So this is the type of flower that I'm going to be making. These are earrings, but that's my plan so far. And now I'm going to be making the straps after I sew down the back here. Now that the top's finished, I'm going to start making the flowers, so I'm just going to do 
a slip knot. and start making the flower. I'll put a link in the description for where I learned how to make the flower because I'm pretty sure my explanation is not going to be that good. Now we have the middle of the flower done and um, I'm just going to continue around to make the centre a bit bigger with a different type of stitch. Once that's done, I'll cut this and then tie it, pull it through and pull that tight. And there's our centre of the flower. It's probably not um <laughs> that good, but I guess it'll do. Now I'm going to start up so I'm just gonna choose a stitch where I know I would have like where I, where I can tell them where I would have gone all the way around but I mean yeah so I'll just choose a stitch here and then pull through and then separate the two strands at the back and start crocheting
there's a first petal. So I'm going to just continue all the way around the rest of the circle to make the rest of the petals. And this is a finished flower, um, I kind of like it, I messed up on one of the petals but I guess the counting is still okay all the way around so yeah it can go on the top so I'll just make more of these and then I will come back to start the placement on the top. I'm just crocheting the skirt panel bit now. Um, this is just part of the skirt that I'm crocheting and then I'll do another part of the skirt afterwards just because there's a slit in the skirt and the only way I can think of doing it is with two parts 